As you can see, guys, conditions have taken a turn for the, the worst. The cold, the windy, and the white stuff's falling. What's this? Look at that big windstorm find. Uh, Somebody's deer shelter. It's this time of the year, huh? I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty discouraged about <laughs> it all. <laughs> Did get the bend site cleaned up. Yeah, I'm supposed to call corn a few days. And all the bolts from fixing the bend roofs are down there, mixed in with all the chaff and the corn. I was thinking about that too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we did manage to park some stuff away. We've been doing. Uh, we have to do some more ditch cleaning, which now the ditch is full of snow. But that is what it is. But we're just trying to get the yard now, snow season ready. Stuff that's laying around under the snow now, uh, stuff we can see needs to be moved so that we don't crash in and destroy stuff. Our snow buckets lay way behind a bunch of stuff, so we need to move that. Uh, it just never ends, does it? Don't break. It's a glass door. Gosh. I had to chisel that out. There's ice stuck in the corner. Oh, and when you look at that, there's the snowblower behind a bunch of other stuff. We weren't prepared. We were focusing in the good weather on uh, field work, which is very important also, but we also severely neglected our uh, other duties. And she fired right up, pretty good for 17 degrees out. We got a lot of piled up disappointment here. Here's the track that broke in field, lost all the lugs. Here's a flare box that got crushed by a tree in the storm. Here's more junk tracks from previously enjoyed equipment. Boy, to go back to the day we were using that. It's a little warmer. Uh, it's got a nicer hitch on than it came here with. trailer should not sit here over winter because this is kind of the area that piles we pile all the snow from really everywhere in the yard right here so all this stuff is really poorly located she's seen better days Another one of them weird deals where it's got a flat spot. <laughs> that one actually is only flat on the bottom. Oh, what a dilapidation. What a dilapidated unit. Tornado. <laughs> Here's what I did with our other flare box. If you guys remember that video, made our tile boot trailer out of it. It ain't great, but it works. Pusher? Yes, it's back there. If you want to drop your forks, there's a track that's junk and two tires in front of it, and then you have access. I'm about done. <laughs> it don't look like you're about done. It's just a dusting. <laughs> this is more than a dusting. My fingers are cold because my hands are wet from tiling. You want real gloves? You got the same ones. Gosh, I bet it's warm in that bobcat. Do 
just can't see anything. Where's my hookups here? There we go. I'm way crooked. Brody's got his snow pusher. We gotta get this one out of the weeds so we can park stuff here. Well, actually, so the snow pile can go here. Not park stuff, we're moving stuff. What am I thinking? Hey, Brody! Oh boy, we're not lined up here. We gotta do some jiggle wiggle. Really like this MDS snow pusher for uh, snow last year. Didn't get used that much because kind of got it towards the end of the season. But when we did, it worked out good. There we go. Now we're locked in. A lot of mud throws onto it. That'll be nice. dirt on the gravel. So I think we're probably done tiling for the year just due to temperatures and the ground's freezing and it's miserable outside. We had our Yankum rope out which has now turned into a frozen block. We need to get this in the shop, thaw it out, clean it up. Ah, yeah. That's no way to treat a rope. Why is it so stiff? It's got three inches of rain, two inches <laughs> of rain on it. Now it's frozen. Oh, it feels heavy now. It's very heavy. Oh, my. It ain't light like they're supposed to be because it's saturated. Oh, you want to tell them about how when we were six feet deep and we were using this to pull through the rocks and how well it worked? Well, it worked, but it should have been 10 feet longer. Yeah. Do they make longer ones? I don't know. Go check it out in the link in the description and let me know if they make longer ones. And then I'll get a longer one. Oh, why is it everything so much harder to do with bibs on? It's winter, double the time to do everything. Why is my upper face not moving no more? Ah. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, go check out Yankum Ropes and the Larson Farms website. Link in the description. Bunch of cool other stuff on there too. That reminds me, we still don't have a heated windshield wiper blade for the Bobcat. They make them. People keep commenting. I know. You don't buy one. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just completed dinner time. Eric had a banking meeting today. And then he brought Taco John's for everybody, so it was delicious. I love Taco John's. On to the next job. We have to be careful here because around, around 1 o'clock, the power company is turning off all power to everyone in the area because they have to do some something with the power off. So we got to be careful not to be like half like door open or half open and no power for heated building for an hour or longer. So, yeah. When we get close to one, we get out to have our doors closed. Come on. Nothing works like it should in the cold. None of this stuff is plugged in. The 9RX, it started, but it wasn't happy. Let's see how this one goes. Grid heater on, wait to start. So it's preheating the engine. Something along those lines. You can see it's indicating. She's grumpy. She is grumpy. So what I'm trying to do is unhook everything. Get uh, tractors in the shed. So they're close to either battery charging or plugging in ability. So when we bring them in the shop, they'll start. And well, as you can see, it snowed. We're just one blizzard away from literally this thing having three feet of snow over it. So we 
we gotta get it moved away from the trees, get stuff parked away. Everything just sounds really, really cold. All right, we need to put the hangers on, which is actually really simple on the 5200. Just take that pin there, put in that hole, then you can put the hydraulics in float, then the hydraulics unhook easy. This won't sag to the ground. You can move it around without a tractor. It's really easy when everything isn't frozen solid. Because before it froze up, we got like two inches of rain, which is actually a major blessing for next year. But it was like a three day, two inch rain. It was like what you just dream of. But then it got really cold, so everything was wet and frozen. And I guess that dirt chunk stand. Icicle, anybody? Kind of dirty. You can hear that sound? Exhaust manifold leak. It's a lot to get all this moving when it's cold. Okay, we're good. We need, a, we need a board for the jack though. We gotta make sure they're all perfectly lined up and square, looking pretty. Ugh. Five minutes later. All right, Salford lineup is unhooked. So this is the tool that we used this spring. This is the RTS. This is what we had many, many years ago. Maybe 2010, 2012 model, something like that. They no longer make this product. Um, we really like it. It's got the concave disc. It's really nice light tool for the spring, but they don't no longer make it they made it better. They discontinued that, then they came out with the 4200. A lot heavier duty. This is something you would never use in the fall. It is not aggressive enough. This, the spring system here is just, it's good for opening the soil up in the spring, but it's got no ability to hold it in the ground in hard conditions, such as the 4200 here where they've got the obviously much rid more rigid shank and then it sits on a big rubber bushing that holds it in the ground rather than this that can cheat and sway quite a bit but they also upsized the coil for the wavy blades but virtually same idea just a lot more beefy you can use the 4200 in the spring as we use this one for but I think this, I'd like to try this in the spring to see. This is a demo here. Um, it's what we used over all our soybean acres and really liked it. Then you roll into the 5200 series, which you've seen us talk about a lot, where it's just concave discs throughout the whole thing. Very aggressive. We love it for corn stalks. This is bean. 100% love it in bean ground. 100% love it in corn ground. So that's the lineup. That one is ours. This is the new and improved RTS. That's my words, that ain't Salford's words. All right, let's go see what Eric's gonna do. So Eric's got the 450. We have a ditch that needs to be cleaned out and then the spoils that are coming out of that road ditch are gonna be used to bake an approach 
on one of Eric's farms. Oh boy, she's full of ice. So it holds water, we should store it up in the air like that so it don't hold water. But we're getting this ready, I think tomorrow, it's too late in the day to be, it's gonna be like a full day project, but hopefully tomorrow we can get out there and do that. So he's got her hooked up. Cracking, maybe we need some welding. This thing was maybe my favorite purchase of the year. I uh, cannot believe how much we use this thing. My tires. Just gotta love Minnesota. injectors in it so we kept having random injectors fail and it start missing and then he looked it up and turns out the injectors that are in there are wrong it's turned up to like 600 horsepower I mean it's awesome but the injectors are only rated for 425 so we get to uh, put all new injectors in it disappointing but at least it'll be right and we'll quit uh, harming the engine You're doing good. Hey, you can make this work. Oh. I did. <laughs> that warms the guy up fast. Oh, for sure. Okay, where are you parking this? Are we to our timeline where we might be in jeopardy? Ten minutes. That's what happened. Yeah, they take that off when you pay for them. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice. The brand is junk, but nice brand new <laughs> jacket. This thing, I think it was the first time I've worn it. You can tell. <laughs> Hooking up to the dump cart, and the hose popped out of the back of the tractor. So I go back there and grab it, push it back in. The other one came flying out. <laughs> wanted to join its friend, and it just soaked me. Oh, that's a nice it surprise. Like well, luckily the, it's cold. It didn't get burnt. <laughs> yeah. I had the safety glasses on. So. Yeah, I can see. There's oil all oh, over them. Oh, it's splattered. It's splattered. <laughs> what are you doing? Cheating. Cheating. It's all been damaged. Some roughnecks. <laughs> roughnecks been operating it? Looks like it. I have to get the excavator and do some bending. These don't slide very good. Yeah, you're, yep, you're there. These have been bent and tweaked from overweighting with the forks too wide. Forks too wide, pushing or lifting on something too heavy. We're gonna have to take the excavator and take the bucket and kind of carefully tweak that back. Step aside now. Here's some more leftover disheartening events from the tornado they damage. Went to a monkey flip, would it? Not with how you're torquing the, the cable under your mask. No, it should be good. I wouldn't raise don't raise it no more. Oh my! Yeah, you've got her. Got her really wedged in there. 
I hope that don't get hooked. Did I lower it? No, it's holding it on real nice. Maybe take two pallets out. One. So I really don't know or see us ever using this in the future. So if anyone has a use for, I believe it's a 48 foot long. I know it's an eight inch cross auger. It was on top of our two uh, Sioux bins. Well, one is no longer here and there is no plans of rebuilding a 25,000 bushel bin. So flighting looks pretty good or good. Um, and then we also have an 8 inch double run pump. Not exactly sure how long it is. It went up the roof of a 60 diameter bin. It's too small for us. Um, I do not know what we would want for them, but they both have single phase motors on them. Shoot me an email if you have any interest in them, but I'm pretty sure we'll sell both of them. Yeah, putting together a culvert in a snow-filled road ditch. Yeah, it should be fun. Oh, the fall is uh, never long enough. But maybe we just try to do too much. So the project that we were going to do before it got rough and tough and all that good stuff and, and so white out is to put a new approach in one of Eric's fields. He wanted a decent approach off the asphalt highway and well that didn't get done in the appropriate time but maybe it just snowed too soon so actually it is the appropriate time but mother nature just was going to show us that well she's in charge as always so we are going to scoop out some snow eric's already down here doing that with the bobcat and we got to put the culvert together Put the bands on, get the right uh, length to it. Looks like they got some fancy ends for it. And we get all that bolted together. And tomorrow, I think, then we'll come down with the excavator and the nice warm temperatures of 20 degrees. And, oh, of course somebody's calling. So stay tuned. I don't want to go out there. It's cold out there. And don't nobody, I mean nobody, make fun of my bibs. all I got. Actually I wore these because I don't want to wreck my good ones out here in the road ditch doing what I'm gonna have to do. Never know. Get hooked up on one of them bolts. Tear a big hole in my good ones. Why would I want to do that when I can just expand the hole size that these old ones have in already. Oh that's gonna be fun. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. We got a couple all them together. Three sections. And there are the bands up there. Don't get run over now, Doug. The the old approach was up there. Maybe Eric wants to talk tell you guys all about this, but the old approach was up there. You could not get a semi down that thing. It was way too steep. Don't know why it was ever put there, but it was. And now we're gonna relocate it. And I'm sure the clay pile is nice and froze tight too at home. We've gotta clean out a road ditch down on the township. Oh yeah. I'll let you go inside with Eric. You'll be nice and warm in there. Okay, we got it all put together. Didn't have one bad thing happen. Not one. Well, there could have been one. The uh, the threads. Look at that. Just the good old. Never mind me. I'm holding your tail. Uh, we had to tighten it up with the uh, wrench. So, you know, it made me feel like I worked for the county. I'm just kidding, guys. 
Yeah, if I had done this more than once in my life, I would have known that I need to bring the big long impact with. This is why we can't have nice things, Brody. Mike down, Mike down. Eric did it. Who do I bill? Eric. Eric? <laughs> Eric did it. Oh, uh, well, that's the first one of the fall. Actually, it works pretty good. You just hold on to it. It's like you're kind of being interviewed. You just talk to it, but you get really close with the camera now, so I suppose <laughs> they are going to see things they don't want to see on me, but what you going to do? I think that's going to be the end of the video. It's wrecked. <laughs> that is yeah. junk. We could zip tie it. You could. Run a zip tie you There's already one zip tie right yeah, there. Run a zip tie there. Just zip tie. Go. We'll zip tie it. All right. Yeah. On zip that tie. note, we're out of here. <laughs>